New solar sunglasses harvest solar power. Researchers in Germany have successfully developed a pair of sunglasses that can generate power. The sunglasses contain organic solar cells, which are flexible and can be made into a variety of shapes and colors. The frames are also equipped with electronics, including a microprocessor, two sensors, and two displays. The solar power captured by the lenses are used to run the electronics, which measure current illumination intensity and ambient temperatures that are displayed on bar graphs. The lenses can generate about 200 milliwatts of excess power, which is enough to run devices such as a step counter, hearing aid, or a small speaker. The solar sunglasses work best in direct sunlight, but they can also work in dimmer lighting environments, such as inside homes or at the office. The researchers say the technology could be applied to the glass facades of high-rise buildings. Such a large surface area would enable the new solar cells to generate significantly more power. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. There's no shortage of innovative developments in solar energy. Endless energy with one coat of paint. Researchers from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology have invented a novel new paint that can turn surfaces into a hydrogen power generator. Synthetic molybdenum sulfide is a newly developed compound that absorbs moisture and accelerates the splitting of water molecules. When mixed with titanium oxide in paint, the resulting substance is able to produce hydrogen energy from sunlight and water vapor. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest sources of energy and can be used to power vehicles and equipment. The solar paint can generate hydrogen energy in remote locations or hot and dry climates, so long as there is sunlight and moisture in the air. Researchers believe it will take at least five years to come up with the final product, but they're confident that it will be cheap and accessible. China powers on world's largest floating solar farm. China just flipped the on switch on their latest green energy project. A new floating solar farm constructed on a lake in Huainan City in central China is said to be the largest in the world. It is made up of 160,000 solar panels. These panels can produce electricity for up to 15,000 homes. The farm is connected to a city where some 2.5 million people reside. The panels are placed at varying depths over the lake. The water helps cool the electronics in the devices and stops them from overheating. Solar energy, like wind, is sporadic and environmentally dependent, meaning the amount of power panels can gather may sometimes fluctuate depending on the weather. Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass produce the solar window blinds. Hey Tomo Sapiens, help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon news squad at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Quantum dot coding can turn windows into solar panels. Researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico have developed a film of quantum dots that can turn windows into photovoltaic systems. When sunlight hits conventional silicon solar panels, electrons break free of the top layer of semiconducting material. The electrons then follow conductors between the positive and negative sides of the panel to generate an electrical current. Quantum dots, which have an inner core, an outer shell, and a silica coat, can be used as semiconductors. Quantum dots can be spread into thin sheets that are placed onto glass window panes. When photons from sunlight hit a quantum dot, it excites the electron in the valence band and sends it into the conduction band, leaving a hole behind. When the electron recombines with the hole in the valence band, a new photon with lower energy is generated. This new photon then propagates within the glass, 
via internal reflections. Energy is generated when the propagating photons reach the window's frame, where solar cells are stored. Coatings of quantum dots can be used on any window to turn them into harvesters of sunlight at lower cost than is currently available. Los Alamos-based startup Ubiquitous Quantum Dots has received a $225,000 grant from the National Science Foundation to commercialize this technology as a coating on windows.